Hi everyone, welcome to my channel once again. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach how to use Mendeley as the citation manager for LaTeX. Now, if you don't know what LaTeX is, LaTeX is a typesetting software just like Microsoft Word and is usually used in the professional setting for typesetting books and articles and other types of documents. Now in LaTeX, it's more programmatic. So you type whatever you want to see in the main document and then it appears as you run it like code. So this is an example of a LaTeX document where I've cited some references in my text. To cite a text, you need something called the citation key. Now LaTeX as a typesetting system requires a certain database system that maintains its citations. And most of the times it uses what is called the BibTeX file. The BibTeX file is a database that contains all the information required to cite that, re um, that resource successfully. Now this is an example of a citation in LaTeX which has the title and the authors and the journal and the other relevant information. Now Mendeley already maintains this information for each paper. So I'm in Mendeley now. If I click on this, you see here there's the title of the journal and all the other information and the citation key. So now in order to generate a BibTeX file for usage in LaTeX, you need to create the BibTeX files in Mendeley and it has a system where it can create it automatically for you and sync it for you as you add and remove files from your, da your database in Mendeley. To do that, you come to tools, then you go to options. Now in options, you first come to the document details. Make sure that citation key is unchecked. That is your way of telling Mendeley to generate the citation keys automatically. And it does that by taking the last name of the first author and the year in which the article was published. So those you have to remember every time you are citing your references in LaTeX. Now with that unchecked, you come to BibTeX and then you make sure escape LaTeX special characters is also checked. If you have that checked, it means that LaTeX will not recognize some of the special characters that LaTeX requires. Also ensure that enable BibTeX syncing is checked. That is what will ensure that Mendeley automatically updates the database as you remove files or you add new files. Now there are three options here to select to create your BibTeX file. The first option is to create one BibTeX file for your whole library. And that means that it's going to create one BibTeX file based on all documents in Mendeley. And that could be too large because for someone like me, you have thousands of references in this folder. Now the second option is to create a BibTeX file per group. So for me in Mendeley, I organize my citations in terms of folders. So what Mendeley is going to do is to create a citation file or a BibTeX file for each of the folders. So that's what this option means. Now the third option will create one BibTeX file per citation, which I don't know what you will use for because there will be a lot of files and yeah, it's, it's quite messy. So the option we're going to choose is the second one for this demonstration. If you prefer to use the first one, then you can do that. Now, if you choose the second one, come to the path and direct Mendeley to the folder in which you wanted to export all your BibTeX files into. Now, this is the folder I want to store it in. So I'll click on select folder. At this point, I just want to remind you that I'm using Windows, but I'm sure the instructions are the same for Mac users. Now, when you have that checked, just hit on apply, then OK. So at this point, Mendeley is going to create BibTeX files for all these folders that I have created. OK, so let's navigate to the folder now. So you see that all my files have been created. One thing I want you to note is that in, BIP, in, in LaTeX, you don't leave spaces when you are naming your files because it's a programming language and most programming languages do not like spaces. So in order to deal with the space, I usually use underscores, but you can also use other types of naming systems where you can name it as one name, but have a way to differentiate between them. So I'm going to use this file 
as my demonstration file. So when we come to LaTeX, now you can basically link the citation, the BibTeX file to LaTeX. And with that, you can now run your citations without any problems. So if, for example, I want to create a new citation, all I need to do is to type backslash sites and automatically it loads these citations for me. All I need to know is the citation key. So when I hit on run, wait just a few seconds and boom, that is the new citation here. Now to demonstrate to you that Mentally actually automatically updates your BibTeX file, let me show you how it's updated. Now this is the sensitivity analysis citation um, folder. Now I'm going to add a new file to that folder. So let me just draw this file into Mendeley. And now this is um, the file and this is this citation key. Now let's see if Mendeley automatically updated my BibTeX file. So when I come into LaTeX, I just need to tell my LaTeX manager that I've added a new file. So I'll just press a shortcut, which I don't have to explain in this tutorial because I'm not really teaching LaTeX. But now with that, I can type site and then you see that it's automatically updated with this new file that I added. And when I run it, you see that it shows up on my reference, my file. So that shows how powerful Mendeley is in this case, because you're able to create a BibTeX file and you tell it to automatically sync the BibTeX file anytime you add or remove a file and it will do just that for you. And all you have to worry about is telling your BibTeX, your LaTeX manager to update its knowledge of the database. So it updates it and then whenever you, you try to cite and you hit, you type backslash cite, that new citation key will show up in the database. So that brings us to the end of the tutorial. Now you've learned how to create a BibTeX file once in, in Mendeley and it automatically updates it for you from time to time whenever you update it. And with that, you're able to cite references nicely, creating a seamless flow between LaTeX and Mendeley and making your write-ups easier. If you enjoyed this video, please support my work by subscribing to the channel, hitting the like button and the notification button so that you're the first person who gets my videos when I upload them onto YouTube. And my tutorials are basically just to help us all have a very nice automated way of conducting our research and our academic work in a painless way. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next tutorial. Bye.